Det der, det er en second worm. Det er en orm, første orms imitation, som er lavet på shanks. Det vil sige, at den er utroligt leddelt og utroligt, utroligt levende i vandet. Det der, det er den rigtige måde at imitere børste på. Øhm, og børste som I kan se her, jeg har fundet en, som bare lå øh, i, i vandkanten, hvor de tit ligger. Øhm, det er nu her, det er simpelthen nu, det sker, og, øh, og det er gratis føde for, øh, for havørerne, fordi de er meget, meget langsomme, og der er virkelig, virkelig meget mad i sådan nogle der. Så øh, vil du gerne binde nogle børstorm, det kan være den flue, som kan make or break dagen, øh, så øh, smut ind forbi Nordic Anglers, der har vi hele materialet til at binde den perfekte børstorm. Den hedder Second Worm, og den virker bare. Hello there everyone and welcome to this video. Spring has arrived. Um, everything is 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 moving and every part of the the fishing here in in the northern part of Europe is just on the verge of just going bonanza. Here in Denmark, uh, the the coastal sea trout fishing is absolutely booming. We've had a, a long fairly hard winter and that means that the growth season of the sea trout has been quite limited. So so now everything is going to explode out, out on the coast. Um, just at the moment we have a ton of, uh, of these uh, polychaete worms, as you saw in the intro video. Uh, these are, are particularly something that the sea trouts uh, feed a lot on, uh, and they're going to do so in Norway and Sweden and, uh, and Germany and, as well. So everywhere where, the, where there's sea trout and where there's polychaete worms, uh, you should go and, uh, and exploit that. Um, I have a lot of uh, pre-made um, pre-made worms available in, in, in the webshop, but I also have the material kits for the two uh, the two best ways of imitating these polychaete worms. And if you haven't tried this out for yourself already, you definitely should. These two are wet because they have been in the uh, in the fly tester, but uh, but the way of tying these uh, patterns like the Brenda the Brenda worm and the uh, the second worm is absolutely without a doubt the best way of imitating polychaete worms. So we have material kits for those. We have the, the finished flies ready as well um, and also we have been stocking quite uh, a lot up on uh on pre-tied flies, on, on ready-made flies. Um, uh, the most of the flies that we have in, in, in the shop is, uh, is, is made by Danish anglers, by, by Danish fly tires who knows what they're doing, who knows exactly how these flies should look for the Danish coastal fishing or for the, uh, for the Danish salmon. We have stocked up on uh, on the on the patterns that are the the absolute best, the Tilda and the Astrid and so on for for Danish salmon. But these flies will work as well in Norway and in Sweden and and wherever there's salmon on Kola and Iceland as well. So if you're in need for for ready-made pre-tied flies, then we have all you would ever need. So with that being said, another thing that is is very impressive and uh, and and uh, and I want to, to talk to you about is the Danish salmon season is opening in in less than three weeks. So um, so I wanted to show you some of the the, the best selling two handed rods that we have right now. This right here is the TFO Professional Two two handed rod, and this is. Um, uh, the cheapest two-handed rod we have in the shop. It's around. Mm, it's around. It's. It's. I think it's around. Oh, let me do some calculations. Four hundred. Maybe. Maybe three hundred and thirty something along those lines. Uh, euros. And um, this is a rod that I've. Uh, this exact rod is, is a rod that I've been fishing a lot with to test it out last year, and also because my Sage my Sage two handed rod was uh, was uh, was being repaired, and I was just absolutely blown away by how amazing this rod actually is. Um, this is uh, without a doubt the best rod in its price range. It's also one of the only two handed rods you can get in this price range, but it's also the best rod I've tried for a long time in in a lot of price ranges that is above this one. So. If you're in the market for, for, for a very affordable, very reliable, very good two-handed rod, then the TFO Professional um, two-handed rod series is a very, very strong bet. I am very keen and very fond of this rod, and, and as I said, I have been fishing with this uh, for 
three or four trips. I caught some good salmon on, on this as well, and it just it just performs excellently, excellently. So if you're thinking of getting into the game of 200 rod, then this is a very, very good bet for you. And we have this as a full kit as well. Uh, perfect, uh, the perfect setup for the for the Danish uh, for the Danish sea trout uh, and and salmon streams. So swing by Nordic Anglers to see this and much more. The other thing I want to show you is we have also just added the the new Lumis um, EMX Pro 200 rods. These are 11 feet and uh, and 11 inches, so almost 12 feet. But the price range on these is very 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 good. These are 5,000 Danish kroner, which roughly calculates into. <laughs> So I need to take a third of uh, around 600, uh, six, uh, around 600 euros. So they're very, very affordable. And um, this is a full, full blood uh, uh, Lumis rod. We've been tested the uh, the 11, 11, uh, uh, six and seven weight, and these are just a thrill and a joy to cast. So if if you're on the lookout for for a high end rod, um, and uh, and and a full full blown Lumis rod, but in in a in a in a, in a less price range than the uh, than the NRX Plus or the Asquith, then the Lumis uh, EMX Pro is is definitely definitely a good bet. Another thing that I'm really excited about is is all the new Sims is the new Sims collection. Uh, we've added uh, we we daily add new items to the to the web shop, uh, but but the new Sims collection is really really awesome. Um, one of the things that I especially would like to uh, to mention is the Box Stopper series. Sims makes a lot of different uh, a lot of different clothing that has the Box Stopper technology, and what that is is basically they have woven some fibers in between the fabric that. Uh, um, that helps repel uh, mosquitoes and other buggers. Um and this really works. Uh, I've been testing this for about a year. I brought uh, several of the uh, of the different items, a shirt and 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 a hoodie for my trip last year to to Argentina. And there was a lot of mosquitoes in Argentina. In the evening, it was it was, in during the day it was okay, but in the evening it was just madness. And uh, and I must say, my my um, the, the guy I was fishing fishing with, my 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 buddy who 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 we were on the trip together, uh, he didn't have any bug box stopper and it was very very obvious and very very clear that the box stopper had a very good effect on on repelling these uh, these mosquitoes normally i'm one of those types that if there is a mosquito within a kilometer's range of me it will find me and it will suck me dry but um, uh, whenever i wore my uh, my my box stopper uh, clothing then i saw that that I'm not saying that it's it's you know it's going to repel every single mosquito. That's not it at all. But it's going to very very uh, drastically decrease the amount of mosquitoes that will land on you, uh, and and these mosquitoes just landed on on Christian and instead. So um, so I'm I'm very uh, I'm, I'm impressed with the box stopper series, the box stopper items. They are cool. They work. And if ever you you plan to fish places where there are a lot of mosquitoes, then you should. Consider very carefully to bring at least one one or two uh, pieces of clothing that has this box stopper technology because it works um, Another thing is is uh, Sims has just launched uh, uh, a new series of Prima Loft um, Prima Loft clothings um, uh, There is a lot of waders and wading jackets and and all that stuff I just want to show you this because this is something that I'm really really fond of and uh, and think is cool It has the the Prima Loft fibers in there and the uh, Prima Loft is, is one of the best fibers for isolating uh, For insulation so so you can use this under your your wading jacket You can use this uh, throughout the spring and, and fall as a jacket in in its own right But it's just a really really cool product that will help you keep you warm uh, and help keep you insulated uh, throughout. So the Extreme Sims jacket, cool cool new item as well. And I'm just gonna keep this on. It's gonna be a bit hot in here but, but that's okay. And um, the last thing I want to show you are these. 
These are my Sims flyweight boots. And as you can see, I have been, this is not a new, new, new item. This is an item that I've been using for more than one and a half year uh, for all my, my, my freshwater fishing. And, uh, and I'm just really impressed with this. This makes a difference because it's so much lighter than my G3 boots. Um, it's just, it just makes all the miles that you, that you, that you walk uh, along rivers and stuff like that so much easier because it has a, a lot less weight than your G4. Uh, I use this for my Danish uh, freshwater fishing um, and, uh, and, and the reason why I'm so impressed with this is the durability of this because it's so light the material is so light, so light, I actually didn't think it was going to last as long as it had. Um, the one thing that is important to note about these is if you're in rivers that has a lot of sharp stones and stuff, uh, then you should probably go for another boot because it only has the reinforcement of, of, the, of the really heavy uh, rubber here in front. So, so this, will, this will last and this will last a long time if you use them correctly and properly and not use them in places where there is, a, where there is too much uh, rough uh, um, uh, stones and stuff like that, they will cut through eventually uh, the sides of, of these. So I use them in, in, in the Danish streams for, for my, my fishing and I'm really really stoked about these. So you can see they have been through some wars these boots but I, uh, I, uh, I sus suspect and, uh, and I'm quite sure that this is gonna last me, uh, last me a full season more. Well, I think that was it. I hope you're looking forward to spring as much as I did. If you're living further north from here, then uh, you'll have to wait a bit longer. If you're further south, then the fishing is probably going very, very well uh, now. Uh, I hope 2021 is gonna be, uh, is gonna be a good fishing year. Uh, it has started out really well in Denmark. And, uh, and we're going to see a lot of, a lot of action in, in the upcoming days. So um, stay tuned and as always swing by Nordic Anglers where you can find all the different things I showed you, showed you in this video. Uh, otherwise, uh, please subscribe to the channel. If you haven't done so already, that would mean a lot to me. The only thing left to say is go out there in the spring. Go out. It's right now. Everything is going to explode right now. So move, move, move. Go out. Fish, 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 fish. They're there. Good luck out on the water.